Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Kirsten and I typically post home and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today because I will be showing you three ways to style a nightstand. So I'm gonna be working with this wood tiled nightstand that I got from West Elm. It is 20 inches across, so it does have a pretty good amount of surface space to work with, but it's also great because it has an open bottom, so that can be nice for styling as well. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I style the top and the bottom. If you don't know already, I have moved to a smaller studio, so I've actually been using this nightstand as an end table right beside my couch. So that makes it a very versatile piece, and the decor that I'll be showing you will work for either a nightstand or an end table. So let's go ahead and get to it with look number one. So for the first look, I'm gonna be starting off with this lamp. Now this is more of a practical item, but it also serves as a nice decor piece. I almost always keep a lamp at my bedside just in case I wanna do some reading at night and don't wanna keep on the harsh overhead lights. I find this to be a nice alternative and this lamp is also dimmable. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that right on the side here. Next, I'm just gonna add two coffee table books starting with Still the Slow Home and then adding Live Beautiful right on top. I really like these two books because they both have neutral covers. So I'm gonna go ahead and place those right beside the lamp. So as you can see right now, it is looking very neutral, but I do kind of want to warm up these colors a bit. So I'm going to add this aged terracotta vase. Now this vessel I actually got from Target, but it was sold by a third party seller. So if I can find it, I will link everything down below. But I love the beautiful handles that it has, the color, the size, the shape. And as you can see, I've already filled it with some dried olive branches. So I'm just going to set this right on top of those books. So I'm already loving how this style is looking, but as you can see, everything is kind of pushed to the back. So I do want to add some dimension by adding a few pieces in the front as well. So first I'm going to be doing that with this weaved coaster. This kind of lends itself to the bohemian style, but I think it's nice when you pair it with other modern and also vintage pieces. So I'm just going to be placing this down right in front. I think a coaster is a very practical item to have on your nightstand, at least for me because I tend to keep a glass of water by my bed at night. However, for this look, I'm actually going to be placing a candle on top. I am bringing in this Studio McGee candle that is so beautiful. It's in this fluted jar, which I really like, and then it does have a wooden lid with this beautiful gold handle. So I'm just going to set this right on top of the coaster to finish off the top of the nightstand. So this is complete, but the bottom obviously needs something to fill it up. So for the bottom, I'm gonna be using this cane basket that I got from H&M Home. And this is what it looks like. So it is just brown, it's this square shape, and then it has caning throughout. So I'm just gonna place it right inside. And I just love the warmth that this brings, and I also think it's really nice just to have extra storage underneath. I've been using it to store away my scarves and other accessories, but you can obviously choose to use this however you want. But I just really love the additional storage that it offers. So this is the first look, and this is actually how I generally style this table. But I did want to kind of play with some other options because I tend to get bored really quickly and I like to switch things up a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and clear off this table so I can show you style number two. So now that the table is all clear, I I am ready to show you what I was thinking for style number two. Now this one is going to be a bit more simplistic. I like to think that I'm a minimalist because I do like a clean, simple look, but there's no way that that can be true because I have way too much stuff. So I'm just starting off with another coffee table book. This time I'm going to be using this homebody book. This is a book by Joanna Gaines and I just removed the cover to reveal this nice neutral palette again. So I'm going to be placing this right at the corner in the back. And as you know from style number one, I like to juxtapose that with something in the front. So directly across, I'm gonna be placing these agate coasters. And then to sort of dress it up a bit, I am adding this small ceramic base right on top of the book. And I tend to like things off center, but for this, since it's just a standalone piece, I'm going to put it right in the center of the book. And then I wanna add some pompous grass. So I have this feathery-like pompous grass that I've just cut down to size, and I'm just gonna add it right inside the vase and just let it kind of hang down, just like that. And then last but not least, I've got these decor beads that I wanna add, so I'm just gonna circle them right around the vase. 
We of course can't forget the bottom of the nightstand. So for the bottom, I'm gonna be using this huge geode that I found at Home Goods. I really like thinking of the top and the bottom of the nightstand as one since it is all one piece. So I like that this geode kind of plays off of the crystal nature of the agate coasters. So I thought it might be a nice pairing and that's what inspired me to choose this piece for the bottom. So here is style number two, definitely a lot simpler and more monochromatic, but I really still love it. I think it feels very light and airy, which is kind of the feel that I love in a bedroom. So I'm very pleased with this look as well, but now I'm ready to move on to look number three. Okay, so everything is now cleared off and I am so excited to show you this third look. I originally wasn't so sure about it just because it's a bit different for me. As you know, I like warm tones, but for this style, I really try to step out of my comfort zone and play with more cool tones and use more grays and blacks, which can be found throughout my home, but not as much. So that was a bit of a challenge for me, but I absolutely love how it turned out. So let's get right to it. I'm starting off with this little vessel from Lila Lifestyle Co. It's a small business and I love supporting small businesses and this is just such a cute vessel. I'm just gonna go ahead and place this right in the back corner. For some reason, I like to start in this back corner when I'm styling. I'm not sure why, but that's just generally where I go to first. So I literally picked this branch up off the street um, I did sanitize it. I sprayed it all over with Lysol in case you were wondering and I've got to say this is a trend that I wasn't so sure about when it first started but yes it's trending to put these dead branches inside your vases so I saw this laying on the ground and I just decided hey let me pick it up and see what the fuss is about and I actually really like how it looks in the vase so I'm going to show you. I just go ahead and hang it right in there I just love this natural shape that it has, this curvy kind of look to it, and it just, I don't know, it looks really pretty for some reason. So I'm going to leave it just like this, and then of course we have to do it, we have to add the coffee table books. I am using Live Beautiful yet again, but I am stacking it with the Kinfolk comb right on top. And this time I don't want to kind of take up so much space by having them horizontally, so I'm going to put them straight on just like this on the nightstand. I really like how it just kind of doesn't take away from the tree that's on top. Just because this tree does stretch all the way across the nightstand, I wanted to have this more vertical look instead of the horizontal shape. So right on top of those books, I'm just gonna be placing this small bowl that kind of really goes well with this vase. Right on top, I'll just do it a little bit off-centered. This bowl kind of acts as a catch-all dish, and of course at nighttime you want to have your essentials nearby. I know some people like to remove their jewelry at night, so you can always use this for your rings or for your bracelets, but I would also probably store my lip balm in there, and it's just really nice as a catch-all dish, as I mentioned before. While I like to make my nightstand pretty, I also want it to be practical, so that's why I'm kind of mentioning these smaller bits that I like to use to keep my nightstand styling a little bit more practical. But for the purpose of this video, I do want to decorate it a bit. So instead of using it as a catch-all dish, I am going to be placing some more kind of decor pieces inside. So to play off of the blue hues in the Kinfolk Home book, I'm just going to add this sage. And then I'm also going to add these Palo Santo sticks for some contrast. Next, we have just this kind of area here that I do want to fill. So I've just got this marble jewelry dish. It opens up inside so you can really just use this for anything you'd like and then you can just close the top and it seals really nicely. So I am also going to place this vertically on the nightstand right beside the books and right in front of the vase. So that finishes up the top of the table. Now, as you know, I like to style the bottom to kind of match the top. So to do that, I'm just gonna start with this book called Simplicity. This is a really big book. It's probably the biggest one that I have. So I like to use that just to kind of ground the space on the bottom. And then right on top, I'm just gonna add this pedestal bowl that again goes with the color scheme that we're working with to complete the look. So there you have it. Those are the three ways that I would style this nightstand. I am so happy with all three of them. It's really hard for me to choose a favorite. Of course, I'm partial to the first one because that's how I've had my table styled since I've been here, but I am really loving this third look as well. So for me, they're kind of tied. 
Let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite. And if you did like this styling video and would like to see more from me in the future, please give this video a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!